I don't get it, man. Like, she's holding a social at a club to raise money to send her to go to Africa and work with, like, kids in a village that has, you know, like, one well and, you know, all that shit. Well, I don't know, that's the whole thing. It's for the kids, right? That's what we're doing. Well, yeah, it's for the kids, but all the money that we're providing is going towards getting her physically to Africa. It's bullshit. Ugh. Like, why isn't the money that we're paying tonight going directly to the kids and the fucking villagers and people over there who need the money? Yeah, I guess it's thousands of dollars going straight up in the air. Not to mention, we're at a fucking club. How much money did it cost to rent this place out? That's money that could have gone there too. Good point. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh shit. What? The attendant? Yeah, the attendant. What's the big deal? I uh I don't I don't like tipping those guys. You don't have to tip them. Well, yeah, you kinda have to. I mean, look at him, he's from like fucking Nigeria or some shit. He's probably got like a family he needs to support. He's got a pet. He's Asian. Dude, don't be racist. <sighs> don't, don't go. Pretend like you're taking a piss. never told you this, but uh, when I was a kid, I didn't know how to wash my hands by myself. <laughs> I didn't even learn until I was in high school. In grade seven, my best friend Jared, we were just such great friends. He would do everything with me. We'd go out for recess together do classwork together. He would wash my hands for me. Every time I'd go to the washroom, he'd be there to wash them. And then one day he ended up having to move away and I didn't have anyone to wash my hands. There was this one day I just stood there and I, I gotta go. Wait, wait, what? Shit. Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tristan. Happy birthday to you.